Hi, you guys. So guess what? I finally got a birch box and a Nipsey in the mail at the same time. So pretty awesome. I can't wait because I really like doing Battle of the Boxes. Um, so here we go, birch box and Nipsey. I'm gonna do birch box first. Um, I don't have the card because I don't know what I did with the card. So this is the box this month. It's super cute. It's very retro-like design. I really like this box, it's cool. Okay, so let's go through. I, I was kind of thinking that I wasn't gonna like the box too much because I didn't get to choose my sample choice because I, I don't know, I missed the email and I wasn't paying attention. I had a lot of things going on. Anyway, so I ended up choosing the parlor um, by Jeff Chastian. I don't know, the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, it's a volumizing and texturizing shampoo and conditioner. So um, I think, let me see. It smells kind of, I don't know, the smell is just okay. It's not the best scent. But um, the good thing about getting the shampoo and then they throw in a little conditioner is that you get to um, actually do the review on the conditioner as well. So it's an extra thing where you can get more birch box points. So that's really, really nice. Next is from Kiehl's. This is the Ultra Facial Oil Free Cleanser. It is for normal to oily skin types. And this is just very a very, very creamy cleanser, kind of like a lotion kind of a cleanser. Next is from Smashbox, and this is just a little trio. It's called, what is this called? Um, filter, is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Anyway, they have three shades in here. Let me pop this open, this one. So they have Vanilla, Sable, and this one is called Sumatra. So Vanilla, Sable, and Sumatra. And these are quite soft, I have to say. Hmm, interesting. So here are those shades. So they're all three matte shades and they're soft. Okay, next we have from Cynthia Rowley. This is a brightening illuminator. Um, and this is just a, let's see, a 0 0.04 ounce. So, and this is exclusively at Birchbox. And this highlighter is, it's not like other highlighters where it can be so, like after you apply a cream highlighter, sometimes it's like, makes your skin really hard and weird feeling. This one's not like that. This one kind of, your skin still stays, stays soft. So I do like that. And the shimmer is not um, crazy and it doesn't turn like white. So that's nice. And last thing is just a perfume sample. Um, this is from Cartier, 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 um, Bazier Volé. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Cartier scents just because it's too like overpowering and um, I don't know. It's just very, this one is, I don't know. It's very floral and it does smell very expensive. I don't know, but when I smell something that's like this, it smells expensive. I don't know how to explain it. I have a scent that's similar to this. Um, it's in those tall triangle bottles. I forget. Isi Miyake, I think it is, is similar to this. And while I thought I liked it when I put it on, it's just not for me. I don't know. I have a couple bottles of those different scents. All right. So this is everything in Birchbox this month. Not too bad. I thought I was going to be really, really disappointed, but I'm not. Um, I'll definitely use the face wash and the shampoo and the conditioner. We've gotten so many diff different products um, with this one. I think it's through Birchbox. Um, and the highlighter's cool. I don't know. I, don't, I hardly ever use cream highlighters. I might use it. I don't know. It's an okay box. It's not my favorite, but it's an okay box. And this little tiny Smashbox, Smashbox um, trio is nice just to take and keep in my bag um, for any touch-ups if needed. All right, moving on to Ipsy. Let's see what's in the Ipsy bag. Okay, first thing. Oh, this is the extra. I purchased the Smashbox water, Photo Finish Water Primer. I've heard so many good things about it, so I definitely wanted to try it out. Um, and it's a really nice size. I like that. I wonder how, what the scent is, if it smells. I don't remember anybody saying that it smelled like this, that, or the other. Okay, number one, the sprayer is horrible. It smells, I don't know what that smell is, but that, the mister, oh, there it goes. I guess I just had to get it started. Okay, it's nice. I actually forgot to use um, my priming spray or my um, finishing spray. So 
it says primer. Is it, I don't know. You use this as a finishing spray too, for those of you who know, or is it just a primer? So you use this and you don't use any other primers at all? That's so weird. What about your pores? If you guys are familiar, please educate me. I really need to know. I wanted to try it out. I think I need to go on YouTube and search again. All right, getting into the bag. I think that was a 500 point perk. So, oh, it's a okay bag. I like the colors. Um, it looks cute on the camera. Um, and it's a, a different shape. It's not just squared. It kind of flares out just a tad bit on either side. So that's nice. All right, so, oh. What is this? I think I'm gonna like this. I see a shade that is calling to me. Oh, that's pretty. What is this? This is bronze face blush. Um, I guess the company is Mellow, and the color, I guess the color is bronze, because it says face blush. So this is a really pretty shade. I love muted kind of skin tone shades like that. I think it looks really nice on the skin. So, oh, I'm so excited to try this. It has a very light, like you can't tell by looking at it. It has just the slightest sheen on there. It's pretty, it's like an orangey, um, like you can't really see it unless you look really closely. I really like that. It's like a little orangey, um, peachy tone, real nice. All right, next we have a brush. This is from, Bow, gosh, I don't know what the heck, how you're gonna call this thing. Anyway, so here is the brush. It's just a flat, this is like good for the brows and it's also good to put color underneath the eyes. Okay, I have tons of these brushes so I'm not that excited about getting this particular type of brush. Oh, and then we have the NYX Lip Liquid, li okay, hold on, try this again. Then we have the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This one is in 04. I'm definitely gonna try this out for sure now. Oh, I like that. I had, um, it's uh, the new Clinique. It's called uh, their pop line that they have. So I had that underneath, but, and of course this feels even creamier than it already did, but this is a pretty, pretty shade. It looks really, really dark, but having it on top of this other um, um, pop of color that I have underneath very nice so that's a win so far loving this bag next we have from organic surge daily care this is the comforting hand and nail cream um, and it's in lavender meadows oh my gosh that smells for real like lavender oil like essential oil oh that's good if you like lavender you're gonna love this ah, so this is really nice. I love lavender for the soothing, like it gives me a really nice soothing feeling on the inside. So I love that for that. And last thing in here is from Star Looks. And this is, okay, so this eyeliner is super duper soft, but it is super duper black. So um, just have to be careful. Of course, you probably wouldn't press as hard as I did on your eye. <laughs> So that's probably why it broke, but um, I like that so far. And it has like a nice creamy sheen to it. So um, I have to say, without even taking a second thought, Ipsy kicked booty today. So just the items in my bag, I have this beautiful bronze blush from Mellow, this lovely scented um, lavender hand cream, this liquid lip. Okay, I am so tongue twisted. <laughs> This um, liquid suede lippy from NYX. This eye um, brush, which I don't really care for. And then this is a really nice black, jet black um, roll up mechanical pencil for your eyes from Starlux. Amazing bag. Ipsy kicked booty today. I'm telling you, way, way better than Birchbox. Way better. Okay, so the eyeliner is definitely not budge proof. Um, the liquid lip color, I can see that it's definitely not budge proof, proof either, but it does take a little bit, like you could see that it's a little bit thicker um, and it kind of gives a little bit of a stain. So that is nice. The eyeliner kind of stains as well. So all in all, good $10 bags. If you're interested in either or, 
I'll have the links down below for both of them. Ipsy and Birchbox are both $10 a month. And uh, sometimes they're amazing, amazing, and other times they're just okay, and sometimes they're just really bad. So it just really depends. Um, but all in all, I really enjoy getting them every month. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.